In this video, let's see a numerical problem based on the property which we studied in the previous video. The property was property number 6 and it said that the value of determinant does not change when any operation of this sort for rows or of this sort for columns is applied. Let's see what question we have in this video and how to solve it. The question is without expanding. Whenever you find these two words without expanding, it means that you have to not evaluate it fully. Rather, you have to use some properties. Prove that the del is equal to 0, the value is equal to 0. Now, you know that if you observe this question carefully, the determinant has PQ here, QR here, RP here. So, it is a cyclic order. P, Q, R, 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 P. And some other thing if you can see carefully is what? That if P and Q are here, R is not there, but R is below. Here also, if Q and R are there, P is not there, P is below. Here also, if R and P are here, R and P are here, but Q is not there, Q is below. So that means if you want these things together, what to do? If you add these things, if you add R1 and R2, it becomes P plus Q plus R, again P plus Q plus R, again P plus Q plus R. That is what we are going to do. That is the essence of this question to solve. So like the heading as solution and do what and do R1 is R1 plus R2. Now some of you might be thinking that we need a K. Where is a K here? So that K is actually there in the form of 1. It is like R1, Ri plus k plus 1 rj r2. Now things are clear. Do the operation as you have written. Add things as you have written. So you know that we have del and we have del means we have to add certain things r1 and r2. So p plus q plus r is what we are going to get. The first element again p plus q plus r and again p plus q plus r. So it is P plus Q plus R and below RPQ do not change and again 1, 1, 1 do not change. Now you see that P plus Q plus R is coming everywhere in the first row. Let's take it out as common. So it is P plus Q plus R outside, inside what you have 1, 1, 1 because when you take it out as common nothing is left. Do not write 0. It is not 0. Why not 0? Because if you take out common and inside you write 0, so 0 into P plus Q plus R should have been 0. But it is not 0, right? Then RPQ, last but not the least, you have 1, 1, 1. Now again, from the knowledge of the previous properties that we studied, you find that this row R1, you find that this row R3, R equal. If they are equal, then the value should be 0. So that means inside value is 0, outside is PQR. Now anything multiplied by 0 is 0. So 0 should be my answer. And yes, it asked me to prove it equal to 0 only using the property that we have done.